Hey, welcome to a Flare Court Media quick video. This is just a fun little thing talking about something I found interesting. I have here a Pixel 4 by, sorry, a Pixel 4 by Google with face unlocking, as well as a 2018 iPad Pro with Apple's Face ID. Now they both use your face to unlock the screen instead of using a fingerprint sensor. And as you know with the iPad Pro and the iPhone 10 and 11, Apple shines a beam of infrared light at your face to map it and it measures the return time and then decides if you are who you are. Now I have my camera set to infrared light uh, so it's all the visible light is turned off but the camera is sending out a beam of light at me and so any other infrared light the camera can pick up. So if I turn on this iPad Pro you're going to see the infrared light starting to flash on it and that's it trying to map out a face. So if I come in close here, you can actually see it mapping dots on my face if I get it just right. Yeah, did you see that? It's really fast. I'll do it again. It's going to send a spread of dots across my body. And so that was enough for it to unlock. It, it measured enough for my face. Now the big surprise to me was the fact that I saw an infrared light shining out of the Pixel 4 because the Pixel 4 has the Soli radar chip in it. Now Google advertised the fact that it uses the radar chip to unlock the screen using your face. And so I didn't expect to see this flashing light coming out of it because the Soli radar chip uses electromagnetic waves to blast out bounce off of things like your face or your hand and then go back to the chip and it measures how far away something was. So it can use it to map your face or measure hand gestures, things like that. And so I was really confused when I turned on this infrared and saw this beam flashing out here. Now, how Google has this set up is it's actually using the IR and the Soli radar chip together to form a map of your face because the, the radar chip is over here on the left and if I cover that up with my finger and point it at my face, come on, you can see it's not unlocking even though I'm getting blasted by that, that IR. And same thing if I switch over and block the IR that's coming out the Soli radar chip isn't enough to unlock it. The device is still staying stubbornly locked. But when I do both of them in combination, the device is unlocked. That was just really interesting to me. And then if I open up the screen and clearly the phone is unlocked, I was surprised to see that it's still flashing at me. Now I thought that was the setting I had turned on where it monitors my face and eyes to determine if I'm still looking at the screen and decides whether it should turn the screen on or off or not. But it's not. It's constantly flashing. And I believe that must mean that it is always helping the Soli radar chip determine your hand or your face or something like that. I don't think the radar chip can perform by itself without that flashing map of IR light coming out. So that's just really interesting, the fact that you th I thought it only used the radar chip, but there's a little secret in there. So maybe the radar chip, either one, isn't as sensitive as we thought, or two, there's something else going on with that infrared light. But just for fun, I thought I'd show you the mapping pattern of this as well, because you can kind of see up here on my forehead the IR mapping pattern from this compared to the see that does more of a pulse and it's a lot wider spread the dots are further apart on the iPad Pro whereas on the Pixel 4 they're a little more a little closer together so anyway I just thought that was really neat and wanted to share it with you and looking at IR in the in an IR camera is always fun because it's stuff that you don't get to see with your naked eye every day. So while I was reviewing the footage just now, 
I uncovered more questions. And so I went looking for the actual sensor array and figured out the answers. So I want to pass them on to you. So one, you'll notice that this light that's always flashing, I thought that was the dot projector. However, when I turn on the screen, you can see that this other light is always bursts on. And so I was like, why are there two flashing IR lights? Okay, so let me get this in the proper light here and I can kind of explain things to you. Uh, this one right here is just a normal camera. This one that's flashing, the one that I told you when I turn on the, turn it on and unlock it, it's always flashing at me. That is actually the proximity sensor. So it's just determining if something is close to the screen or not. So that's why it's always flashing. So that means that this other one that bursts to life is the actual dot projector. So when the screen comes on or, or the other IR sensor senses that you're close to it, then it blasts the IR dots. And so the radar chip is actually right here. So when I was covering up this side, I was actually covering up the dot projector and that's why I was saying that it wasn't unlocking. I thought the radar chip had something to do with that. If I cover up just the radar chip so that that dot projector can still come out. Let's try that one more time. Cover up just the radar chip so the dots can come out. The phone will unlock. So it turns out I was wrong, completely wrong. The radar chip has nothing to do with face unlocking. The Soli radar chip is strictly for those hand wavy pause type things that no one ever remembers to use. So really Google has just managed to copy Apple's face ID by blasting your face with a whole bunch of IR dots. So today we learned something and that's more than we can say some days. Anyway, that's it. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more fun videos like this, go ahead and subscribe. Otherwise, until next time, I'm doing what I love. Keep doing what you love. Thanks for watching.